What's going on guys? I am Watch JR Go and today I'm out in the Hyper Motard because we need to have a little talk. That's a cool place to park, bro. Yeah, it's not in the way. Grab the daily hoop de la gasolina. All right, look at this. These guys got their fuel points and they're filling up two cars and like a million cans of gas, even though it's like limited to $75 or something like this. There's the police trying to catch me riding dirty, like always. First and foremost, welcome to this channel. I know you guys are probably new here because there's a ton of new subscribers and views after the uh, taking delivery of a TT Lamborghini Huracan from Underground Racing video. Uh, that of course is my boy Big Brian's car. Uh, we rally all over the country in that car and race just about everybody on the planet. Street bikes, supercars, doesn't matter. We're probably out street racing that. Uh, I don't have any like super dope cars right now and by super dope I mean legit super cars. I've got a track Miata, a Chevy Volt, a 65 Ford F100, a 94 Z28 Camaro that was my first car I bought back last year just for the nostalgia of it and I kind of wish I hadn't. I do have a bunch of motorcycles so I'll introduce you to the fleet here. There's my all-time favorite right here, the Hyper Motard 1100S. I'd also like to pick up the Hyper Motard 939 SP. It's on my list. A buddy's got one for sale. We're talking about it. We'll see what happens there. I own the bike that is my channel art, of course. I mean, you can see the whole fleet in the garage, the uh, Ducati 1198. It's the, one of the super bikes. Uh, KTM Duke 390 that's currently for sale and was sold, but is now not sold. That's where the limo deal fell through. Watch that video if you want. It's pretty fun. There's my Honda Ground that has the JBL system on it that I pretty much just do wheelies in the neighborhood on. Uh, my Honda Ruckus, which is the fastest one in the city. It's a GY6205 swapped, uh, dope set of wheels, single-sided shock, uh, that's an air shock. Uh, you know, about everything you could do to a Ruckus is done to that Ruckus. And then my Honda Fury, which is a uh, factory chopper, and I love that bike. I ride it a lot. There's three more bikes that uh, don't get any love or aren't ever in the vlog because they're out of my dad's shop. Kawasaki 305, Honda Twin Star 185. These are all vintage bikes. And one of the old school Suzuki Inline 4s, which is pretty fun. Of course it's raining because I don't know what's up with Kansas, but like it has been raining nonstop for basically ever now. So I figured I'd get wet for this video. I wanted to come down and do Thunder Road and ride some corners, but now I probably can't get too aggressive on these corners just because of all the wetness. This bike does have a Michelin Pilot Power on the front and a Michelin Road 4 or 5 on the back. I don't remember which one, but it's a, a harder compound touring tire. It works really well on this bike and gets some epic tire life for as hard as I ride this bike. Now I will say out of all the bikes that get ridden hard, this is the one that gets ridden hard. It's way too much fun. I feel like it's reasonable to fix if something breaks and uh, I'll just keep fixing it until it's not fun anymore. I better slow down for this here jump. <laughs> Getting air in the way is probably not ideal. I am going to go ahead and apologize in advance for what's probably mediocre video quality out of this vlog. Uh, it's because of the rain. One thing I do want from this channel is to always deliver epic video and epic audio, both of which are reasonably hard to accomplish when you're going 100 mile an hour on a motorcycle. But we rock the best camera there is, the Sony FDRX 3000. And the microphone is actually some cheap lav mic that uh, I picked up off Amazon. The microphone when I'm doing handheld vlogging is the Rode Video Mic. That should answer most of your questions right there. Uh, I have a ton of GoPros and the uh, Garmin Verb Ultra 30, and I don't use any of those for the most part. The Verb is a uh, B cam sometimes when I need uh, you know that video looking back up at me. But we're still working out you know a way to edit the two camera footage and everything without blowing through all the space in the world. So I often just shoot single camera. 
I know this is a moto vlog and y'all are probably here for that exotic car content. So I'll try to keep it 50 50. Believe me, I have a ton, 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 ton of exotic car footage because we spend about every weekend just out screwing around in the 911 Turbo S, the Huracan 67 Camaro with a 496 in it. We spend a lot of time out screwing around in those cars and in, you know, who knows what else. But I spend about every day out riding these bikes. So there's probably more bike content than exotic content. I'll try to keep it somewhere around like, I don't know, 75% or 50% bike content and all the rest will be exotics or us being stupid. I never have to ride in the wet because Kansas never rains. And then all of a sudden we have this like going into fall, but it's actually spring going on here. It's been raining every day for so long. In addition to riding just about every style of motorcycle that has ever been made, uh, I do a lot of long trips on the motorcycles too. We go, uh, you know, almost up to Chicago and stuff with the fam every year. Uh, we just did an exotic car rally on the Ducatis. I will do just about anything on a bike. And, you know, no matter how technical it is, it's probably going to be fun, even if I have to slow down in the wet. There's some how-to content on the channel, and coming soon, I hope there will be a lot more reviews. I honestly, it just takes a long time to edit reviews, and I also want all that sweet, sweet B-roll with sliders of, to get some, you know, establishing shots of the motorcycles, all that good stuff, so you guys can truly enjoy what I'm out riding. It's hard to convey that if you're doing a single camera view and talking. I don't want to be another lame moto vlogger who just talks and you're just always looking at the road from my perspective. You got to be able to see what's going on and then just check out the bikes. Like this bike is insane. It has 1100 cc's and it's a dirt bike. It's just covered in carbon fiber, Scott's riser, got the GoPro mount. That's all the mod. That's pretty much the Hyper Mozart overview. It's got these sweet, sweet mirrors. And I dropped it the other day trying to do donuts in the skate park, but hey, it happens. I just kind of screwed up the plastic right there. I'll put a new piece of plastic on it. No big deal. My gloves, the levers, and my butt are completely soaked after riding through this water here. I think the back tire is throwing a rooster tail straight up my back. Let's see if the rain wheelies happen. <laughs> nope, it just spun. Ah, we got a little C5 Corvette action up ahead. Let's go see what it is. Is it a Z? I don't think it is because it has a slanty roof. Or does it have a slanty roof? It does have a slanty roof. Still looks good, Corvette. One of the few base model Corvettes I appreciate. I've also owned about every Corvette, uh, a C4, which I started making a go-kart. You can, of course, watch that on this channel. Uh, that was a good time, but I went too far. I had some epic plans for that car, and my epic plans entailed spending like 30 grand on a toy that was worthless. So eventually I just kind of cut my losses and sold the fully forged engine that I had for it. I had a fully forged LS that was gonna go in it and twin turbos and all this crazy stuff. But you know, I cut my losses on that project and moved on. I've also had a C5, C6, C7Z is probably uh, next here in the future. Maybe a C6 ZR1 or something too, just to park. I would love to have those sitting around because I thoroughly enjoy driving them. Anyway, all that said, welcome to the Watch JR Go Moto Vlog. I hope you guys stay. I hope you enjoy this content. Please comment. Tell me what you want to see. Lots of long form content is coming up. Uh, the exotic car rallies, uh, the rides to Springfield. I even have like years of them uh, that have been shot and just not edited yet. It just takes a long time to edit all that stuff. So I'll get out as much as I can. And I also have a giant buffer for winter time when uh, I won't be riding as much, unless I am, you know. I'd like to just get winter gear and ride every day, but it takes a lot of commitment to do that. Uh, and with a full-time job, it's pretty hard to be a full-time YouTuber. So, hey, you guys watch the videos, you guys subscribe. I love you. I'll make videos all day long. That's all I want to do anyway, is put out stuff that hopefully you enjoy and hopefully makes you laugh. So that said, please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I will talk to you guys next time. I'm finally getting back out of the rain here so we can roll on a little bit of that sweet, sweet hyper throttle. Also, if you guys are into cool collabs, Man, I thought this car was just really tailgating that semi for a second there and then I saw that third brake light. Man, you're really close, bro.
<laughs> but if you guys are ready for some cool collabs, you know I know Quentin. Uh, Tyler from Hoovy's Garage is a good friend, lives right down the street from me. Uh, Parker from Vehicle Virgins is a good friend. Damon from uh, Daily Driven Exotics, of course. And you can see street races with us in the Huracan and all of them because we spend a lot of time out on rallies playing with those guys. Debbie Foreman, Bat Venador, she's another good friend. Hopefully, we'll get some cool collabs going on with all of those other YouTubers soon. I also cover technology from time to time, and look at this box. 17-inch color monitor. It's an old CRT because it says 16-inch viewable. EVU 17 from eMachines. Now that is a throwback. It must be... 10, 15, 17 years old when eMachines was banging. I miss those days. It was like the golden days of computing. And I do cover tech because I have always worked full time in tech. Uh, I've been in IT for so long. Shout out to Modinocity. He was the same way doing that IT job, sitting there working on uh, you know the enterprise storage switches. That's what I do. Uh, I work for one of the biggest storage vendors in the world. So uh, yeah, if you have questions about technology, I guess you can hit me up because I can typically answer them, even though I probably want to talk about motorcycles.